السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear Grade 5 students Hello again I am Ahmed Al-Farahati and I wish you all the best of everything Today inshallah we will study Unit 5 Technology Lesson 4 Please open your skills book to page 44 This page what are the aims of this lesson? Let's check. Unit 5 Technology Lesson 4 Skills Book Pages 44 and 45 Let's look at Grammar and Activities 1, 2 and 3 The Aims In this lesson students will Practice the use of the future with will and want Talk about flying cars. Do a gap fill activity. Write questions about a topic to ask a partner. Let's go to page 44 of your skills book. Yes, unit 5 grammar again. We studied that in the previous lesson. And let me remind you of the form and use of this tense. How to form it? How to use it? We said that we use will plus a verb in the infinitive case to form this tense. And we use this tense in order to predict what will happen or what we think will happen in the future. And we studied these examples. Okay? And also we said that in the negative case we use will not or want and you are asked to remember this the short form of will is apostrophe ll and we pronounce it with the pronoun i'll hell shall it will you'll they'll and the short form of will not is want you understand that and we see that in the interrogative case or if you are going to make questions, you start with will. And you can answer saying yes or no. Yes plus a subject will or no plus a subject want. You can say, will, will he arrive early? Yes he will or no he won't. And also you can make questions with will and WH question words. Okay? Let's look at activity one. Read and underline read the text below and the line the short forms of will and will not you are asked to read this text and underline the short forms of will or will not let me read first experts predict that in 100 years from now there will be 11 billion people on earth so there won't be enough space for us all to live in the world we want to live in cities like today. We'll build cities under the sea or underground. People will travel through space to look for new homes. Perhaps we will live on the moon or on Mars. Now, take your time to underline the short forms of will and will not, then come back to check your answers. Hello again, I'll underline the short forms of will and will not in order to check your answers. Yes, here we have want. And here we have want. Yes, here we have will. That means we will. And here we have will. Thank you. Activity 2. Think, read, and complete. Talk about the questions below with your group. Then, read the text and complete each gap with the word from the books. Note, there is one extra word. A. Do you think flying cars are a good idea? B. Would you like to buy one? Why? 
why or why not you are asked here to talk about these questions with your group at school let's try to answer these questions do you think flying cars are a good idea you can say yes i think so or no i don't think so and here would you like to buy one you can say yes or no and they give a reason for me i think flying cars are a good idea yes i would like to buy one because flying cars can get to places much faster now let's read these words cost faster car travel sky traffic interested and we will read this text Flying cars will soon be in the sky. A company in the USA is developing a flying car. The car can up to 40 kilometers an hour. Until now, it can only fly over lakes and other areas of fresh water. The company are making a list of people who are in buying their flying car. But they have still not told people the price, so people don't know how much it will. Flying cars can get to places much than cars traveling by road, because the skies are not crowded with. Yes, take your time to complete each gap with a word from this box, then come back to check your answers. Hello again. I'll complete the gaps in order to check your answers. Yes, the car can travel up to 40 kilometers an hour. And here, the company are making a list of people who are interested in. Yes. So people don't know how much it will cost. Flying cars can get to places much faster than cars traveling by road because the skies are not crowded with traffic. Thank you. Activity 3. Right? Ask and answer. 1. With a partner, choose one of the topics below. Think of three things you would like to know about the future of this topic. Write three questions on the lines below. Yes, we have here cars, space travel, cities, robots, schools, computers. And we have an example here. Will cars have wings? So you are asked to choose one of these topics and think of three things you would like to know about the future of this topic. Then try to write three questions on the lines here. You can choose any topic. For me, I will choose schools and I will write three questions. 1. Will schools have teachers? 2. Will robots teach us? 3. Will we do homework? You can think of any three things you would like to know about the topic. Okay? 2. Find another pair of students and ask your questions, then answer their questions. Like this. Will cars have wings? Yes, I think so. Will robots do our homework? No, I don't think so. So, I can ask my friend these questions. Will schools have teachers? He can say, yes, I think so, or no, I don't think so. Will Robert teach us? 
He can say yes I think so or no I don't think so. Will we do homework? He can say yes I think so or no I don't think so. You understand the task? You can do it at home. It's an easy task. And you can practice asking and answer these questions. Thank you. By this we've achieved the aims of this lesson. Thank you for following me. Goodbye.